Yeah. Um, Hex OA 101. What, what, what do you think? Yeah. So basically, um, the OA, the, the OA is actually one specific Ethereum address that ends in 7CO3. When somebody emergency end stakes or if they stake or they end their stake late, then 50% of the penalties go to that address and the other 50% gets redistributed to the staker class and it, it's attached uh, to each of their stakes that they own based on the hex payout per t-shirt per day. Um, but there, there are a lot of addresses um, that are connected to that address. And uh, there are a lot of addresses. Um, uh, let's just put it this way. There, Hex has centralized ownership where addresses are owned by one entity or many entities. Nobody really knows and nobody can really prove that. But um, I demonstrated at least that there was uh, the same behavior across multiple addresses that, that basically over 3,000 addresses that most likely it's probably owned by one entity or one or it could be many entities that are maybe working together that no one really knows. Uh, but those addresses have never sold a single uh, hex token to date. And I monitor them. Have they staked or, or what is the deal with that? Uh, 11 of those addresses are staking addresses and the sum of their T shares makes them a Poseidon in the network. So there is actually a Poseidon okay. in hex. It's just spread across different addresses. So for those who don't know, Poseidon is is like the biggest. Uh, yeah, it's the largest. Is it larger than a whale? Uh, I think a Poseidon wow. owns at least ten uh, percent. I think of the share pool. I think, if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I looked at that. Um, but it turns out that the hex has centralized ownership, but most of the hex that sits in these addresses sits dormant and sits liquid and is not staked, so that users can get a high APY. Mm. So uh, we know this because shortly before Big Payday, a lot of these addresses actually staked Hex for a few days and the payout per T-share was like, it was really, really low. I think it was like uh, one Hex per T-share per day. Like it dropped insanely. And so it actually, um, it's better that these addresses keep Hex liquid so that we could get higher APY. Now, it, it, we're not always guaranteed that uh, it could be at some point in time in the future um, that those addresses might decide to stake so that the APY is less, so there's less inflation in HEX. I'm not sure if those addresses would ever do that, but it could do that. So, so what do you think is the, you know, for example, that when they claim the Hedron bonus and things like that, what do you think the OA's intentions are? Is it to, you know, we know protect the HEX price, but know what kind of different areas do they go into to do that what do you think they will do um i would just say in general terms because i don't want to get into specifics i'd rather keep this information private sure. uh, but i would just say in general those addresses don't harm hex the hex just sits dormant and some of those addresses actually increase with hex think about the origin address it just keeps increasing or think about all the hex that was sacrificed to sacrifice addresses and then, may then maybe sent to other addresses. The hex just sits there. It's not sold or anything. So it seems like whoever owns those addresses or multiple entities really loves hex and just wants to protect and defend the price and doesn't want to murder the price chart. All right. I don't and, know if that's what, what you're looking for or. Yeah, yeah we uh, can touch on it. I, but yeah, I, I, I try to, I'd rather keep things in general, uh, speak in general terms because. Uh, I just respect the privacy of whoever actually owns those addresses. Um, I want right. them. I, I really don't, even though it's been released before to the public, I'd rather like not really go into details, I guess. But right. I, I will say this, um, the majority of hex that, that's in circulation is actually controlled by those addresses. So there's much less in circulation than what people think uh, that are owned by users is what I'm saying. About 3% of all hex in circulation is owned by users. Regular users. Wow.